and good evening students hope everyone is ready for this class uh, in our last class we started chapter 2 uh, actually not start we completed an exercise in level 8 and i hope you revise it before coming this class okay and i hope you completed your homework also there is two homework in question that is question number 3 from exercise 11a and then question number 4 sub question b i hope you done it okay then today we will start about angle all of you open your book page number 173 okay open your book page number 173 they are given they are given angle
and AB and AC are two arms of this angle. All of you draw it and then write in your copy. I hope you draw it and you wrote also. Then, then what is the name of this angle? Then how can we write the name of this angle? We can write C A B. Then angle sign. We have to give the angle sign. Angle C A B C A B or angle. This is angle sign B A C B A C. Okay, we can uh, write its name in two types. Angle C A B C A B or angle B A C. One thing always you remember that the common endpoint should be in the middle. The common endpoint here, the common common endpoint is A. It's nothing. This when we write the angle in this in these figures in these types, then what we have to do? We have to write this common endpoint in the middle. Otherwise, it will be wrong. Okay. After that. I hope you completed it. Then I grab this board. The next one is interior and exterior angle. And exterior points with it. Right, the next one. Right, interior. Interior and Exterior of an angle. Interior and exterior of an angle. Okay, what is called interior and what is called exterior of an angle? Already uh, you learned how we have to draw an angle, is not it? I am drawing an angle again here. That is taking another one common endpoint, suppose P. Okay, what is my common endpoint now? P. From this endpoint, we are drawing RA. Suppose this is the PQ. Okay, and another one for A we are drawing. It is suppose P. What is the line in this point? R. And PR is a ray, PQ is a ray. This two ray meet in a common endpoint, that is P. And they form an angle. Okay, now you see our uh, this is called angle. Then how can we name this? The name of this angle is angle R P Q. Is that it? R P Q or what? Angle Q P R. Q P R. Here common endpoint is P. Is that it? So P is in the middle. Okay, now you see. Then here, name two arms of this angle. Then if I have the, the, the right two arms of name the arms of this angle, then what will say? The arms are PQ, PR and PQ. If I have the vertex of this angle, then what will say? P is the vertex of this angle. But now you see, in this angle, suppose I am writing some points. Okay, I am giving two points here. A, B. And I am giving another one point is here. C, another one is B, suppose here one is B, then here it is. Okay, I am giving some point, point A, point B, point C, D, E, F, F. Now you see, what is interior? Okay, interior point. If I ask them, name the interior points. Interior points. Interior means these are these are the interior. Okay, these are called what? These are these are interior and then outside of this angle, these these are these are exterior. Okay, the interior point what is? It is A. It is B. It is F. And what is the interior points of this angle? A. B and F. Is not it? Then if I ask an exterior, exterior points of the angle, then what do you say? It is, let me exterior means, uh, just to remember 
under interior means inside, exterior means outside the angle. Okay. Then exterior is what? It is C, D, and E. C. Uh, sorry for the three. Okay. C, D, and E. All of you write in your copy. Okay. Hello. And for your second term, uh, students, the division lesson will come. I, uh, I uh, already completed that chapter. And then factors and multiples that will exercise 6C maybe. The discuss only uh, which are we covered in our classes will come. And then properties of factors, these are most important. And this geometry part, these are most important. Okay. Uh, that means today we completed our second term syllabus. Okay. Uh, I hope you understood it properly. If you have any confusion, then uh, see that video again. And uh, uh, if you have more doubts, then you can text me or you can call me. Okay. Thank you, student.